Kling 01 has just dropped and it's genuinely one of the most important video model releases of all time. And yes, I know that sounds dramatic, but stay with me because this isn't just a bump in resolution or video length like we often see with new video models. No, this is about giving users a whole new level of control when it comes to generating and editing AI videos. And trust me, this is the exact direction that Google OpenAI basically everyone is gonna go. So what is up everyone? I'm Ash and this is gonna be a bit of a different video today, no tutorials or guides. Instead, we're gonna be talking about Kling 01 and the new possibilities it's about to unlock. Kling is calling this the world's first unified multimodal video model. And basically what that means is that it goes beyond just generating videos with text prompts and a reference image attached. It takes all kinds of video tasks and integrates them all into one model. So you can generate videos with multiple references. I'm talking images, videos, other visual elements, all attached. You can set the start and end frame so your clips flow exactly how you want. You can use prompt based editing to remove and change backgrounds or subjects or props or the overall style of the video. Essentially, it's an entire video editor built into one model. Now, we've already seen these kind of advancements with image models like Google's Nano Banana Pro. In fact, Kling has just dropped Image01, which is their own image version. But this is the first time we're seeing these kinds of capabilities with video. And it's why learning about Kling01 is so important because it's giving us the first glimpse of where AI video is going to go. Right, let's talk about some technical details and let's get the raw video spec stuff out of the way first. As you'd expect, you can generate videos in 16 by nine, one by one and nine by 16. And you can generate videos between three and 10 seconds long. You can pick specifically how long you want it to be on that scale. When it comes to generating video, you can now upload multiple references alongside your text prompts. You can upload up to seven images, PNGs or JPEGs JPEGs with a max file size of 10 megabyte, and you can upload a video which lasts between three and 10 seconds, and that can be up to 2K resolution and up to 200 megabytes in size. And you can create elements by using multiple images of the same thing from different angles, which is gonna be crazy useful for consistency. On their website, they give this example where they've created an element by using multiple angles of this dude. And as you can see, he's now super consistent across all of these videos. And it's possible with multiple characters too, as you can see with this woman and strange cartoon banana cat thing. You can also use this process to piece together a scene exactly how you want. In this example, they've set out the character, the bike they want him to ride, and the environment that he'll be riding through. And as you can see, it's fully generated that video. For filmmaking, this means you can easily change backgrounds and for marketing, well, it's super powerful. Just upload images of your product and you can now place it in basically any scene with anyone you want. And for more control of how the clip plays out, you can upload the specific start and end frame of the clip, meaning the action of the scene will play out over the duration that you want. I also want to talk about the editing side as well. In this example, you can see how they've edited the statue to instead be a Christmas tree, or perhaps you want a Lego figure holding an AK instead for some reason. Either way, this is sick for both AI videos, but also visual effects in general. Like you can still go and do a traditional shoot if you want, and then later use this model to adjust the scene and add special effects however you like. In fact, now's a good time to talk about just how useful adding a video reference can be. And this first one is huge as it lets you use the camera motion in one video as a reference for the video that you're generating. Currently, we have to pray the model understands whatever camera instruction you type into the text prompt. But now, as you can see in this example, they've started with a super basic 3D mock-up for the camera movement. And now that movement has been fully integrated into the new scene. That video reference can also be used for the action in the scene too, meaning you can animate a camera Character to replicate whatever action taking place in that video. Finally, you can use it to generate entirely new shots. And this is gonna be so useful. In this example, they've got a video of a guy sat in the car uploaded, and then they've used a text prompt to generate both the previous shot and the next shot in the scene. Now, I realize I fired a whole ton of features at you, but hopefully you can see how this blows the doors open when it comes to video creation. And the thing is, it gets better because so far, all these examples have been under the context of just using Kling's video model as the basis for the videos. Now for context, if you're new to the channel, at Veed, we make an online editor which gives you access to all the latest image and video models in one place. And what's super exciting is that we're currently integrating all of these new tools from Kling01 into Veed. That means you can generate a video with whatever video model you want, say Sora 2 or VO 3.1, but then use all of these new tools to edit them however you like. 
And that's gonna be unbelievably useful to create, generate, and edit videos all in one place. We've already got a bunch of the features added in Veed and we'll be rolling out the rest over the next few days. We're also dropping our own video model, which comes with free unlimited generations when you're using any of our paid plans, which you can now obviously go and edit to your heart's content. I'll drop a link in the description below if you wanna check any of those out. And yeah, hit me up in the comments what you think about Klingo 01. What kind of projects do you have in mind and what kind of possibilities do you think this opens up? As always, thank you for watching. Hit subscribe and I'll see you next time.